Hello everybody, it is the Amazing Gaming Guy here and welcome back to part 3 of my Alpine Adventure build uh, in Planet Coaster. So uh, last time we built the mountain and stuff and then we did a load of work building bridges and stuff. Actually we didn't build the mountain, we built a load of bridges and stuff. Mountain was the episode before. This week we're going to do um, a another bridge, one more bridge. Um, and then we're gonna start work on some shops and things and just really fleshing out this sort of area, the whole area around the entranceway to this ride. Um, and still haven't thought of a proper name for it yet. Alpine Adventure could be the name, that could be it. Um, but if you have a better, night, better idea, um, stick it in the comments because I'd like to know because Alpine Adventure's alright but it's probably not the most imaginative name out there. So if you can think of something better, let me know. Okay, so we just started off by going around and building some more of these uh, sort of raised sleepers um, to constitute the uh, the bed of the bridge. And actually, this bridge will be going over the path that takes you towards the um, area themed around this ride um, and the entrance to the ride as well and its station and the shops and stuff it's basically taking you to the um, the zone that this ride resides in um, so it's quite an important structure this because it really is framing the entrance way to where this ride is it's the first thing you'll properly see of the of the station of the ride and stuff so I, I wanted to uh, do it in the same style as the other bridges I've done before, but then also work on developing it as well, and you'll see that in a little bit. But right now I'm just replicating the same style as before, using the uh, the big long wooden planks for sleepers, and the uh, fences, the red fences, and then going along the bottom with some smaller wooden planks uh, in red to create the sort of connections for the sleepers so they are actually stuck together and not floating in midair. Um, and then, as uh, you can see, I'm about to go around, there we go, and I'm putting some torches down. Torches? Torches? This is a Minecraft. Uh, lights, uh, lanterns, whatever they are, they're not torches. I'm, I'm sorry, wrong game. <laughs> and then just to um, add a bit of age to this bridge, this area. I just added some uh, some vines hanging down because you know how I like my foliage. Um, it's got to really embed it into the environment and that's a really good way of doing it. Now to create this sort of um, archway, I guess, this entrance to this area that I was talking about, I decided to use some of these um, sort of, I guess I sort of scaffolding blocks um, to create big supports for this bridge because it is one of the larger bridges as well and it also you know it turns it into a big archway a sort of much more grand looking thing and I uh, passed the path under there that's a bit of a tongue twister past the path past the path uh, <laughs> uh, what am I talking about past the path under the um, under the bridge uh, and then stuck a load of vines on that um, and you'll see I'll be doing this for a little bit. Um, I just want to take this moment very quickly just to say a massive thank you to all of you guys watching this video and all the guys who've watched my other videos recently because God blimey the views and subscribers and stuff is rocketed. It's it's really good for for me <laughs> It's not great in the grand scale of YouTube, but for me it's really good because we just hit 500 subscribers and I did a really funny video by the way if I do say so myself um, I did a really funny video and you should definitely check that out I'll link it in the description or on the screen or wherever I can link it um, definitely watch that after this though finish this <laughs> finish this then go watch that um, yeah it was absolutely great fun making it um, and really fun to watch. It, I think it's funny. I think it really is quite funny. And you get to see my little face. Um, I know. Ah! Horrible. <laughs> um, oh, really just peaked my microphone there. That was that was bad. Anyway, back to the build. Um, so I'm just going around and putting a little bit more foliage in here to really embed the track, embed the ride into its surroundings. Um, and I didn't want to I don't want it to be too bright 
because, you know, I had a couple of those red bushes and the purple ones and stuff, but I also wanted to mix them with some sort of forest bushes, some uh, regular um, thorny bushes. I imagine they might have thorns on those big bushy ones. Um, and then I went along and I put like hanging electrical cables just to make this even more realistic, this ride. I love to go for realism. I, I don't... I don't like making rides that are so fantastical that they couldn't exist, if you know what I mean. Like, it would blow your mind, but it, it could it really exist in the real world? Probably not. I like to make rides that you could really imagine this in a real life theme park and then I like to do all the simulation and stuff because I'm a bit of a nerd. Um, <laughs> so that's why I'm sort of dotting bits of um, machinery and stuff around. I feel like that would be a sort of money-saving way that a money uh, a park might try to theme a ride just by dotting little bits and pieces and stuff about rather than going, you know, whole, uh, whole hog on all of the scenery everywhere. Um, so it's got some points uh, and focus points and stuff of really fantastic scenery, like the bridges and stuff and the mountain, of course. Um, but these bits around here where I'm putting these sleepers and stuff down, um, not quite so fantastical. And I think that just gives it a bit more grounding, a little bit more realism, um, which I really like. I really, th I think that's a good idea. Um, and then I went around with some little lanterns and stuck them all around this area, so you can, you know, it lights it up and you can you can see it. Um, I love to put lights in, lights and ride triggers and stuff. People really, people on YouTube I've noticed really don't use lights and ride triggers and stuff. I don't know whether that's because they've got like a backlog of Planet Coaster videos before ride triggers were a thing, or but lights have always been a thing, yeah? so I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm one of the only people who does that. Um, but I do it for the realism. Um, as I do with pretty much all of my scenery, I, I like it to be realistic. Um, so now I'm just moving on to the station area. Now, this area, I, I'm i still trying to formulate what I want the actual station itself to look like. And if you do have any ideas, again, let me know in the comments. Um, well, of course, it should be some sort of train station, but I'm not entirely sure what that should look like and I'm gonna try and form an idea of that in my head and do some drawings and stuff um, try to work that out before the next video but at this point in time I'm not too sure and it's a shame because I, I wanted to do it in this video I wanted to start on station um, and get that uh, well may maybe done at least started um, but I just could not think of a way to do it, a way to theme it and a way it would work so um, I've instead opted to uh, start building this sort of courtyard area here um, where it will firstly connect to the ride um, and secondly there will be shops and stuff here this will just be the sort of zone for this ride now I haven't done this in a long time so I thought I'd give the ride a little a little ride a little go um, and I'm gonna shut up whilst it goes around the track so you can enjoy the whole experience so shh, I'll, I'll come back in a minute. Okay, shh, shh. Okay, so that's what the ride is looking like at the moment. I thought it would be a good idea just to um, give it a go, uh, have a have a little ride on it, just to see how things are developing and uh, see if it's working, see if it's going well. And you know, one thing that I learned from doing that little ride is that <laughs> you don't have time to look at the scenery. 
<laughs> I've put all of this work into the scenery, and you really don't have time to see it on the ride. Um, but there's <laughs> not much I could do about that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to keep doing the same de level of detail and stuff, just for the purpose of um, looking at it from the path, the paths and stuff. Um, you know, all the peeps walking about. Uh, so they've got a visual spectacle, and so that's interesting for these videos. Because <laughs> it'd be really boring if I just didn't do any scenery. Um, but yeah, you really don't have time to look at it all, so... Um, maybe I won't put quite as much detail in. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably just keep doing it how I'm doing it, to be honest. Um, so now we're moving on to the uh, little shop area that I'm building, and instead of building a number of different shops, I decided to do one fairly large building we have a bunch of different shops in it because um, you know this park's expanding now it's getting kind of big and uh, the peeps they need a place to uh, get food and drink and silly hats um, so I created this little shopping area um, to meet all of those needs in one building um, and uh, in terms of the architecture of this building, I decided that I wanted to have one big uh, pitched, one big pitched roof, and that would be pretty much the whole building. It won't really have walls on either side. It would just be one big pitched roof. Um, so it's a little bit like a sort of um, alpine ski chalet or something, but it's also sort of mixed with. I guess a sort of farm building. It's a sort of merger between the uh, sort of fantasy party area, uh, which envelops the rest of the park so far, and then this sort of more mountainous alpine theme. It's uh, it's definitely a bridge between those two themes. Um, so I went around with uh, natural stone walls um, and uh, corrugated iron um, sloped roofs. And it took me a little while to decide what I wanted to put on this side bit because as you can see when I go up to connect it it actually clips through the front of the building there and uh, that was a little bit of a problem for me I had to try and find a way to get around that um, and you'll see in a minute I just sort of ended up covering it with uh, foliage and stuff um, but you know trees and foliage and bushes and stuff it hides all manner of sins um, so it actually turns out quite well, but before that I'm just sticking some windows on, trying to make it look a little bit more realistic, um, and uh, like window boxes and things, just trying to bring it all into the real world, you know, because it looks really blank at the moment, um, and as a part of that little mission I was also um, trying to build like a sort of awning roof thing to... Um, come over the pathway and the entrance just to make sure you don't get wet if you I don't know it's raining or something I don't even know if it rains in this game actually I genuinely I don't think it does <laughs> well forget that it's got perfect this weather this game so it's obviously not set in the UK um, this must be like I don't know California or something <laughs> um, yeah this is not a UK theme park <laughs> if it doesn't rain that's all part of the experience in this country. Um, so as part of creating more of that realism, I put those uh, crane things and stuff on, you know, just adding more realism to it. Uh, I'm going to make that my word of the day. Realism. You're going to get so bored of hearing that word. I'm already bored of hearing... Okay, I'm not going to say that word one more time. I will not say realism again. God damn it, I just said it again. <laughs> God, I'm so bad at that. Um, so to add more... Uh, I need that word. I, to add more interest to the scene, um, I put some of these props and things down, the little stool carts and stuff, and then created a little seating area out the front. You know, just trying to... Um, Make this a place that the uh, the peeps would like to hang out because you know you've grabbed your food and your drink and your silly hats and then you want to go sit down on some benches and eat your food and drink your drinks and share your silly hats with your friends and take selfies and stuff. Um, so that's what the little bench area is for. 
and then vines and things to add more and I'm not allowed to use that word um, add, add more uh, feasibility to the, the building <laughs> um, and also it hides the uh, the little clipping thing that I was talking about on the wall you can't even see it anymore it's like it's not there apart from on the back where you can't you can see it so um oh yeah there, it's all right I covered it don't worry it's covered it's not there it's not there it doesn't exist um, so then I came back out the front tried to uh, put some lighting in lighting up the uh, Street Fox Cafe sign um, I've not used that sign before that must be new to the uh, the release oh my god I was gonna call it beta but it's not in beta it's a real proper game now it's a genuine game wow that's amazing how time flies <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going along, adding some lights and things, um, my little lantern chains, I love them, I love the little lantern chains, they're really, really cute, <laughs> they really are, um, and then putting some trees out the front, and I really just wanted to make this like, a cool little courtyard area where you could walk about and, you know, relax, not go on rides and stuff, um, Whenever I go to a theme park, I really love these little areas where, you know, the theming is strong, you know, it's got good, strong theming with the the Alpine theme and the, the, the village theme and that sort of stuff, but it's also sort of a relaxing area. You can sit down, you can chill out, you can have your lunch or whatever, um, and not be thrown around on rides and barf everywhere and, uh, yeah, lose your lunch along the way. <laughs> um, I think these areas are very valuable and uh, theme parks that don't have them they tend to feel a little bit too intense to me I don't know I know I don't have a lot of UK viewers but um, it's like comparing something like Alton Towers with like Thorpe Park you know if you've been to Thorpe Park there's not really any sort of areas to relax and stuff anymore they've taken a lot of that out and it feels um, it feels too intense so that's why I was doing that and that is just about all we have time for today. Yeah, well, it's exactly all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.